Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Today I'm going to make a Mexican meatloaf that Michelle from Our Home Our Life sent me. I believe she might sell this. I know she sells like uh, candle, candles and wax melts and things, but so all that's going to go in this is a pound of ground beef, a cup of picante sauce, a four ounce can of chopped green peppers, chilies, and a half a cup of grated cheese. And you're only going to put half the picante sauce over top with the other ingredients and pour it over top. But I think picante is a little spicier, so I'm just using salsa. So we'll see if it doesn't turn out right, then I'm to blame. But it's kind of weird anyway, because this is the first time I'm ever making meatloaf without my regular way of doing it. So a pound of ground beef in the bowl and the mixture. You make sure there's no staples in it because <laughs> it's our anniversary, but yeah, his life insurance is paid up. So, because I'm going to probably have him taste test this and I'm going to take it down to him and he's going to be like, what is in this? Because she never serves me food. <laughs> I'm a Yankee. You, you go get your own up north. <laughs> okay, maybe some people do, but not this one. Anyhow, getting this all incorporated. And then half of the... Um, It's making me look bad. Look at these guns. <laughs> okay, half of a cup in this. Alright, mix that all up and then put this into your meatloaf pan. So I think we're going to go to red lobster for our anniversary since there's not one here. I know, I know, but the fancy place in town closed down and there's nothing really that wonderful around and I don't feel like driving a long time. Well, him driving and me riding a long time to get somewhere, so. All right, so it looks like there was oatmeal and a bunch of seasonings in there. So I'm gonna pour it in to my pan. And anyway, this was a thick and chunky salsa, so that's kind of like picante, isn't it? And I hope that my mouth lines up with the sound because people have been saying that it's like not in sync. But I got that new phone and uh, like I have tried my program, my downloading program with different speeds, but it's still not working very well. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to fix it so it's in sync, please let me know in the comments or let me know. So we're going to mix the um, four ounces of chilies. And for a uh, half a cup of cheese, cheddar, and another half a cup of the salsa or picante. Now pour that over the meatloaf mix together a little bit. Oh, I won that on her channel when she did the giveaway. So, we're, like I said, we're not too much big on spices, but uh, I know chilies are not hot and salsa is not hot. I get the mild. <laughs> 
All right, so in the oven this goes at 375 for 30 minutes. And I will bring you back when it's all done and yummy. And while I'm doing this video, I have wanted to tell you about this vanilla Beats Tomorrow. It's a vanilla company. A little boy started a company in his kitchen whenever the um, food shortages and uh, all the pandemic crud was going on. Um, this is his name, William. And he started it for his like bread basket, the donation place for food. So he makes one bottle of vanilla and per bottle he can feed 42 uh, people, meal, one meal with his uh, proceeds. He doesn't keep any proceeds. So he uses um, the good Madagascar vanilla beans and uh, I guess it's vodka or whatever they use for vanilla. But the lady who I found this out from, Hillbilly Kitchen, um, she was like, she priced one that was just slightly bigger than this and it was $3 more. So this sells for $30 for this big bottle and um, $5.50 for ta uh, shipping. So no tax and uh this will last you a long time right so if you guys are interested i'll link his information down in the description box and uh you can help feed the people in his area but there's something if a teenage boy can start a company like that mm, there's a lot we should be thinking about doing eh but now back to the meatloaf. Well, as you can see, it's after 9 o'clock and my husband still is not in from cutting the grass and doing the weeds. So here is the um, meatloaf, how it turned out. And this is our dinner. I have not tried it yet. So let us see. That's actually really good. I was a little scared because I'm not a big fan of any kind of spice things. But, um, it's good. It tastes like a, a salsa-fied meatloaf. <laughs> so, I'll see if I can catch my husband to come and do the taste test when he comes in. But I still have to go walking. He's getting so slow in his old age. Somebody. <laughs> so maybe i'll see you again and maybe i won't so if not goodbye god bless love ya all right guys i brought it out in the garage for him because he's taking so long <laughs> but this is i told michelle and mike i would uh have you taste this is a mexican meatloaf the camera's down here <laughs> Can you hear him chewing from there, guys? He's such a loud chewer. <laughs> Quick. I'd be rude. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. He likes pretty much anything, though, so. <laughs> All right. There's the taste He's test. Good Goodbye, everybody. God bless. It's our anniversary. Feel sorry for me. <laughs>